Hey y'all, out here at the uh, O'Reilly's Auto Parts World of Wheels in Birmingham 2013 and I've got a, a really nice 69 Camaro street ride that I want to bring to you. So uh, let me run Steve down and have him tell us a little bit about it. Steve, how are you brother? Fine Scotty, how you doing man? Not too bad. Tell me a little bit about this hot rod. It's a uh, 1969 Camaro SS. It has a uh, LQ9 engine in it which is a truck LS style engine. It's modified, uh, has a full box frame, front to rear. The uh, suspension underneath is a modified C4 Corvette and it has a 373 gear and a six-speed transmission in it. It has a fuel cell. How long has the car been done? It's been done, I, I don't mean to misrepresent this, but right. I, I think about four or five years um, I'm not sure. Uh, five, a, guy, a gentleman named Roger Jennings built it up in uh, Center, Alabama. Uh, I've driven it probably at least 5,000 miles. Oh, wow, so you drive it? Yeah, yeah oh, yeah. yeah I drive yeah. it a lot. You've been into hot rods and street rods a long time? Well, I'm 68, and I would say uh, since I was about the first car I got when I was 15, so since then. All of us started out with our first car when we were 15, didn't yeah. it? All those hot riders, we all got our car before Pretty we much. had our license. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody else was still pedaling bicycles. We right. were out trying to get a car. Right. Man, it's a beautiful car. Tell me some of the things that's been done to it. Well, um, this is a piece of uh, the, molding. This, this is a, a piece of um, mm -hmm. uh, brass stock molding they use in the marine industry. And uh, he uh, formed it to the car, and then it has tabs brazed on the back of it and then had it chrome plated and you can see his miter cut here where he cut the doors I think that's a beautiful that is nice man that's a nice beautiful touch. job there um, what about this dash is that the dash is a 1959 Chevrolet Impala dash oh wow cool is that um, steel yes all yeah. it's all steel dash yes it is you got six speed in or five six speed, speed. yeah who did the interior uh, I cannot remember the guy's uh, name. He had worked at Paul Atkins' shop at one time, I believe, but I don't. I do not know his name. I got you. I can't remember. Man, can you open that door oh, for yes, me? Yes, sir. Absolutely. That's My got late model door handles in it too. It's got a lot of detail in it up there. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's nice. No, that's very nice. Yeah, it's got power windows and a roll up window. Roll up windows. Yeah. I like the old school ones. And you know what else I really like? I like when it's got a door sill that says Body by Fisher. <laughs> yeah. You don't see those anymore. They used to be everywhere. You yeah. know, that's what they said. But yeah, not anymore. The wheels are, are boys. They're 20s and 18s. 20s on the rear, 18s on the front. It's kind of got a Harley Davidson theme to it. Uh, the color, yeah. That, yeah. That, they're, uh, both of them are General Motors colors. It's just stock. That's that orange off that Camaro, isn't it? Uh, Is it the late model Camaro orange? No, it's a it's a Hughes. I'm just going to say the name wrong. I'm sorry. No, it's all right. You're I, tired. I, but it's a, it, I know it's a stock, a DuPont stock color. Okay. Man, I love how you did the exhaust coming out the middle, too. That's very yeah. cool. Yeah. It has boiler. It has all stainless steel exhaust system. And right. With boiler mufflers. Wow, yeah. nice. You have any other hot rods? Yes. Yeah, lots. Usually when you say yes like that, it means yeah, I got a lot of them. Too got, many. Too got, many. You got a Z06 Corvette. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you said this one will this, perform. This one performs right, right there, close to it. It really does. Right. Cool. Where can the car be seen at this year? We're at Birmingham now. Are you going to keep putting it in shows, or you drive it? So I don't. It doesn't make. I. I, I I don't know. I mean, I may go to a few events. I, I probably won't go to another show no. like this. Right. You don't do good guys or NSRA or anything? No. Uh, Man, look at that. I like good guys. I just, I travel all the time working, and I really don't like to travel. You have enough of it come the weekend, right? Yes. Yeah. Can I see under the hood? Yeah, absolutely. Man, that's just a cool Camaro. That is just really cool, man. 
69s are easy to make look cool, but oh wow, look at that. Now, what made you decide to go with the truck motor? Is there an advantage you know to what? that? Well, um, again, Roger built the car, but he used the uh, uh, truck block um, because they're, they're cast iron and uh, considered a little heav you know heavier right. than heavier duty than a they can take a little block, more than and, an block yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's got uh, modified uh, LS1 heads and um, camshaft is aftermarket, custom headers. And the engine cover is off of a Holden. And a Holden is an Australian GTO. That's right. Yeah. And you know what I really like too? I like how they cut the indentations for the air yeah. cleaner. That, yeah, that, and little details that clean it up, the, you know? Got the yeah, yeah, the inner fenders. Yeah. yeah. That is awesome. And it started life as an SS? Yes, sir. Yeah? Cool. Steve, that's a beautiful car, brother. Yeah, I really like that. Let me do one thing for me. If you can, shut that hood and let me do a good walk around so people can get a good view of this thing from a distance. Just nice, not overdone. Just very cool, man. I like that cowl hood on it. Love the wheels. Paint, hey, split it in the right hand. How about that molding? How cool is that? You know? You don't ever see a Camaro with molding on the side of it, but they did it and they made it look good. how they did that dash they use that whatever 50 something dash in it digital gauges that is cool man steve thanks so much brother for letting me take yes, a look sir. at your car that's yeah, beautiful fine. thank you yes sir scotty folks there you go steve 69 camaro um, from uh, O'Reilly Auto Parks, World of Wheels, Birmingham, 2013. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya.